Hello and welcome back to another video and yes it's that time of the month when we unbox the latest scroller box um, this is box number 106 um, and just to remind everyone what scroller box is it is a monthly subscription box um, in the UK it's a mystery supplies once a month and we have a challenge to complete um, I'm not affiliated with Scroller Box in any way, shape or form. I just like the boxes and the company and we keep going. So, let's get started and see what we've got in this month's box. Now, you won't have seen last month's Scroller Challenge yet if you're watching this on the day or the days up, a few days after I upload this. Um, everything's a bit behind at the moment. It's been filmed. And it will be shared um, as soon as I've got around to editing it. It's a bit more of a faff editing wise than these are. These are just a one kind of film upload. But yeah, just to let you know, it's on its way. Right, box 106. Okay, that's our surprise. So we've got tone drawing paper. We've had some of this in the past. It looks like crayons. Oh, please don't be crayons. And that's our scroll of the Was our featured yeah, featured artist was there. It almost yeah, it looks kind of crayony. Maybe pastely. Maybe pastel pencil, I don't know. Alright, who's our This Y Armet. Um portrait as well. Um see there's nothing that makes me think I know which medium I've tried to keep drawing and painting whenever I have the opportunity okay that's all the you know, social media information there right we'll look at the scroll in a minute the tone paper is 10 sheets 115 GSM I say we've had this before, but I don't know that we've had this specific one. Alright, let's see what we've got. There's a box in here. So maybe pastel pencil. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so this is our sweet, a frutella. Joy sticks, very nice. I'll put that to one side. We have a pencil sharpener. I don't think I've ever had a box with a pencil sharpener in before. It's a very nice one. Very interesting. Yeah, I know most people wouldn't get excited over a pencil sharpener, but you know, it's, it looks like it might have spare blades. Yeah, it does. It comes with little spare blades in the little side bit. Well, that's good. I like that. Yeah. We've got a blender. I want blender pen, so this makes me think even more. It's pencils. This is our sticker. And this is polychromos pencils. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So I'm going to just turn the light down a little bit because it's reflecting quite a lot. Let's see what colours we have got. Now, if anyone knows me well and follows me on social media, you will know I use Polychromos. They are my go-to pencil. So I have all these colours, but it doesn't mean I'm not happy to have them again. So we have Ivory. We have Light Ultramarine. We have Dark Naples Ochre. We have light green, coral, which is of kind of a, it was a fleshy coloured tone, but they've renamed it coral. And we have permanent carmine, which is a ready colour. Okay, so not a bad little haul. I think I have a blender pen that we had in a previous box somewhere. It kind of looks like that. I've never used it with the polychrome off though, so we'll have to see how it goes. 
Right, let's look in our scroll zine before we swatch everything out. So, yep, yeah, this is all about our um, the contents of the box. It includes two spare blades in that pencil. Tells you a little bit about the polychromos pencils. There is more information on the QR code. I will get it set up at some point that I can scan it while we're doing the video and have a read together. This is a sit down with the artist. The more and more I see its portraits and the more and more I know that I'm rubbish at drawing portraits. Swatching time. So, scroll the tips. So stop and swatch, which we know. Keep your pencil sharpenings. Sharpen into a pot to keep them in the same place to avoid too much mess. And then you can use them over the backgrounds and things. Yeah, I've seen that before. Embossing the paper. Yep. So you can put like lines down beforehand, invisible, using like a blunt needle or. You can get like silver point pens and things um, and then when you colour over the white shows up better especially when you've got toned paper it's quite good blending tonal value oh this is a little thing about testing out the colouring pencils you know small little task to do beforehand And then the artist's advice. And this is all about kind of keeping it loose by the looks of it. Okay, scroll box 104. This was hodgepodge, I guess. A lot of different people. A lot of random stuff. There's no one up. Oh, Lucy Locks, I recognise. I just think if there's anyone else I really recognise. I don't think there is. And then our top three. Mm, I really like this. Cat, Bane, Cindy Martin and Anna State together. And it's got about the community group on Facebook. Yes. That is the place to go. It's a lovely little community group. Everyone's really supportive. And you don't have to be a subscriber. And this is a showcase or something. Oh, it's Mel. Oh, I'm glad. So, yeah, this is nice. A bit more about subscribers. And Mel's work is amazing. So, definitely give her a follow. And then, a bit more about gestures. And then our scroller challenge. Squiggle me this. So it's all about lines and squiggles and at least it's not all portraits. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, now to get to the swatching. Which is all, all the bit we all want to do, isn't it? I'm going to take my tone paper off the pad for this. Because... I don't want it going all the way through onto the paper below. And let's swatch the colours first. So we have, first of all, our ivory, which is going to show up lovely on the head. Oh, I just love the way the polychrome has come up. Then we have, what was it, Dark Naples Ochre. This one's going to be harder to see on here than the ivory. But they have such a vibrancy. You see, you are just going to get me fangirling over the polychrome of pencils. Uh, this is Light Ultramarine.
then we've got light green coral and permanent karma And that's a lot of pigment comes out but that's what I, I knew it would be like and these will layer up over each other quite easily and you can obviously blend them as well see so like that's the ivory blending in with the permanent carmine there so if you want those two together, it's probably best to do the ivory underneath. Let's try out this blending pencil and see how we go. Now I'm going to look back in the scene for a few tips on this because I don't really know what I'm doing with the blending pen. So it's always good to use the tips if we can. So we go from light to dark with each colour. So the two lighter layers are overlapping. And then you kind of get the pen involved. Okay, let's see how we go. So let's just put, and then it gets lighter as we go. Um, yeah, let's blend it with the permanent carmine like they've done. So a lighter layer over there. And go to the game. Stained now by the permanent karma. Right, let's try the blue. Maybe I'm not doing it right, we'll find out. We just meant to, I don't know. It's all right. I mean, it smooths it down a bit, but yeah, maybe it's just not for me. But hey ho! All right, let's try this sharpener out. Uh, what can I sharpen into? Let's open up my actual sharpener. Um, let's 
give the light ultramarine a go. It's a nice sharpener. But yeah. Obviously I tend to use my electric sharpener. But yeah, it's nice enough. Okay. So nice little set of supplies there. Um, trying to fit all the pencils in there is not going very well. Um, so yeah, we will come back another time and do the scroller challenge of where was it? Squiggle me this. Uh, I'll have to have a think and see what we come up with for that. So until next time, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye!